What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am here with a vlog. I got some questions I want to ask y'all. Uh, say what's up Tina? Anyways, um, I just wanted to, um, I had some like suggestions uh, about my hair and I need some, well, not I don't have no suggestions. I want y'all to leave suggestions because when I pull out into this sun and for this beautiful day that the Lord has made, I want y'all to see the highlights, not highlights, but the gray that's in this hair. And I want y'all to tell me, should I take it back my natural color or should I put a plum in it? Turn this light out. Let the back off this dry right now. So you gonna dye my hair too? Tina girl, Tina girl. I want my hair to be maroon. I think you need to let your hair uh, replenish from uh, the blue that you put in and it messed it up. Okay, so here I am, y'all. These are called natural highlights. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see them? <laughs> here it go, y'all, look. Bam! Look at that gray. And that's really hiding it because look. That's that Robinson Street. We all got that white patch on the side of our head, but on this side, all through here, and the top of baby is gray, okay? And I was just trying to um, uh, see where whether I should have a, a plum put in it, which I could have a, a color in it now because there's no perm in this hair. This hair is all natural hair. I think I told y'all before, some of y'all before, but uh, yeah, ain't no relaxer in it or nothing. So should I color the plum, y'all? I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to have it done professionally, but I was just wondering, should I go ahead and you know, color the plum or just keep it my regular jet black. Y'all let me know. I'm just trying to try something different. And of course they're going to, you know, cut the ends, but I really don't, my ends don't really look bad. I, I don't trust everybody cutting in my hair, but if y'all know anybody that's, um, lives around, uh, in, in Atlanta, Georgia, that's good on silk presses and hair coloring, uh, please let me know. Please let me know. Give me some uh, information. Tell them we are on our way to the store and Tina wants some chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Yep. So, I'm not going to drive with this camera in my hand. So, uh, stay tuned. So, we decided to do a remember when video and that's what we're going to do. Ah, I got my coat on y'all because... I had just got back from the restaurant. Yeah. Sorry. I had Applebee's. But anyway, um, a cup of ice. I'm cold. I want to tell you how my weight loss journey been going. It's been going good. Um. I don't know how many pounds I lost, but uh, I ain't trying to see. I'm gonna start playing in my area there. But um, I ain't trying to see or nothing like that, but I'm just gonna, you know, I go day by day. I'm like, I ain't one of them type of people to get on the scale because when you get on the scale, to me, you discourage yourself. You know you eat right every day, you done push that plate back, and you drinking your water and everything like you're supposed to. You don't need to get on the scale, you know you're losing weight. And so, I can see it all in my face. Um, my face is getting smaller. It always starts from the, the face and the shoulders, the neck down or whatever. And uh, that's what, where it starts at. But, um, but I'm seeing and I'm feeling real good in my body. So what I've been doing, this is what I have been doing. Um, I never had salmon before. And when I was in Michigan, Pastor uh, Kunta had got me to eat this, uh, Salmon. He was telling me about the salmon, and you know he's a vegan. He's a vegetarian, and um, so that's all he eats. So um, he was saying that it, how good it was, and I, I should try it. So I tried it. As a matter of fact, the videos the vi that you saw with me and him, I was trying the salmon that night. Okay, ever since that night, y'all, I had been on a salmon kick, and I kid you not, y'all probably gonna talk about me when I say this, but I had been going to uh, Applebee's every night since I got back from Michigan. I know, I know. I know I can hear y'all now. Girl, if you don't cook at home, I 
never tried, I never had salmon before, so I went and bought some at the store. Um, I never prepared it. And a lot of people say it's easy. You just get some foil and you, you know, you uh, squeeze your lemon on it. Uh, my brother said he put honey on his and you grill it, but I don't have a grill. And you know, you bake and you bake it real good and wrap it in foil that is pretty good. I'm gonna try it. And, and uh, I've been having like the broccoli and uh, I've been having uh, like the brown rice type of Mexican rice with it, whatever. And um, that meal is 600 calories at Applebee's. So I have been doing that, y'all. <clears throat> And I had I had started out like uh, maybe like three weeks ago on a um, Daniel's fast because I went on a fast and I went on a Daniel's fast because I was told to by one of the sisters, one of my uh, supporters, and my uh, she inboxed me. Praise the Lord, Evangelist Natasha. I was obedient to the Lord too. I know that was the Lord because it was confirmation when you sent it. When you said the Lord said it's for you to fast, go on a Daniel's fast and seek the Lord on how many days you should fast. Well, I had one on that fast for 14 days. And um, after that though, I could see a lot of things that God has broken off of my life and things that he has uh, done in my family's life and how he's working things out. So I'm not gonna really panic about a lot of things because I just know God got his hand on the situation. But anyway, so ever since I was on the Daniel's fast for 14 days, when I came off that fast, y'all, I didn't go back to the way I was eating. And um, I would, um, I ain't had no chicken. So this pretty, this, the, to make a long story short, it kind of like, I kind of like joint the pastor on a vegetarian tip because it made my body feel so good. And y'all know how I always used to get over here and say, well, I gotta have my Diet Coke. I gotta have my Diet Coke. Do you know that while I was on that Daniel's fast, I didn't have no Diet Coke. I ain't had no fruit juice. I ain't had no type of di beverages or nothing. I had water. I can count. After I got off the fast, I had maybe in different days uh, a cup of uh, 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 decaf coffee, which was uh, like two days. But after that, I was like, no, I want to stay with the water. So I've been with the water, y'all, and uh, I'm still on it. So I've been with the water, um, and also uh, I put a little lemon in it. That's it. The little slice of lemon. Put a little slice of lemon in it, and that's it. And um. I've been with the water, I've been with the salmon, and I've been with the vegetables. Um, the days that, I mean, I don't, I don't uh, have that, I'll have like a smoothie or something. A spinach, kale, and pineapple smoothie or something like that. But that's how I've been eating. And I've been finding out that I've been feeling so much, oh my God, my body feels so much better. Um, I have more energy. Um, I don't have uh, much as heart palpitations like I used to do. Because I used to swear it down, I was having a heart attack. Um, I just been feeling real good in my body, y'all. This, 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 God is good. I, I, and I believe, you know what? I believe also too that when he, when I went on that fast, I asked the Lord for some uh, things, a lot of things on this fast. But one of the things I asked for that I'm gonna share with y'all was that he break this eating habit, this gluttonous spirit that surrounds me and around me. Always time on to eat, eat out of boredom, eat out of because you're depressed and you're feeling up, uh, uptight or eat when you're too happy. Either way, you just be eating, you know. And I had no desire, I have no desire to like even eat like that. And the kids that had all kinds of stuff in front of me. They be having, uh, what y'all be having? Ch chili, what, no, not chili fries and stuff, but the stuff they be eating. Like the uh, they, the pizza rolls and hot pockets and you know when they go out they don't order what I order they order you know the, the hamburger that juicy hamburger that got all that stuff on it with the onion rings and then the fries on the stuff I mean they be ordering okay so but I just be looking like mm, I, I can't it's like somehow I want to put it back in my body again it's like I ain't had no cheeses you know type of cheeses because usually I have my salad I have cheeses and stuff like that I ain't put no cheeses or nothing in my salads. I still eat spinach and baby kale and chard out the bag. I eat it right out the bag. I don't want nothing with it. And um, it's just, it's been doing really, it's just, my body just been feeling great. And it's really helped my digestive system too. So I know I'm cleaned out and stuff like that too. But um, it, I, it's coming, it's coming. And um, I'm just happy though, cause I, could, I see a smaller me. You know, I got up and showed y'all the whole figure. 
but I'll never do that anyway until, well, y'all see me walk around and talk. Y'all see what, what, what size I am. But you could tell by, you know, the videos uh, before, my face was like, you know, fuller and, you know, big. But it's, it's, it's like, it's no slimming in here and stuff. I mean, I, I can see it, you know, I feel good. But anyway, I can't, I'm not gonna count the days of the fast, but I know when you do fast, you lose weight. So 14 days. And then, um, let me see, I've been off the fast for about a week and a half now, so I wanna say 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So about almost like 20 days I've been on this no meat uh, type of thing. Well, I had salmon, like I said. Salmon after the fast, though. I fasted, on the Daniels fast, I just had uh, lentils, like the soup, they had the lentil soup. I had the unleavened bread, and I had um, the vegetables, like the salad and tomatoes and everything like that. And when I got hungry, um, I had like, uh, you know, a handful of nuts or something like that. And that was just in water. And that was with the Daniels Fest. But when I came off of it, I didn't change anything about it. Only thing I added to that, to that, uh, Daniels Fest or what Dan what I was doing on the Daniels Fest, only thing I added was the salmon. And, um, like I said, it's just, it's just, I've been feeling good. I've been feeling good in my body and everything. And I just want to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? Not so much to just weight loss and stuff like that, which I need to, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, say we be pretty, you know, too pretty to be big like that. Well, it's, you know, it's true, you know, but, you know, I wanna get my weight off for health reasons as well, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be slagging around, walking all tired and all that, and I just wanna have my energy and stuff like that. So I've been doing good, and I thank God for that. I thank God for that, God is so good, so, um, I have a membership in the gym, and I kid y'all not, to, honest, to be honest, I only been in that gym, what? I came count, well, maybe like three times since I had the membership. And they ain't taking it out of my account every month. So I don't even know why I'm not, I'm not in that gym taking advantage. But when I was in Michigan, running around Michigan and stuff, it was like I was just, I was so busy, like, and happy seeing everybody and being around everybody and stuff. And, you know, I, I, I could have went to the gym, but I mean, I did. You know, me, Keisha, and Keisha, girl, let's go to the gym tonight. Cause I know that's where we all need to get. And then we be talking and then we end, we, we end up never going cause we was doing other things and having fun. But, um, I need to get in that gym. I, I heard it was like, hmm, 80, what is it? 80% of weight loss is with, with the food and then 20% is the gym. But it does matter because, you know, you're gonna have flabby arms and legs and all of that type of stuff when you get my age you need to tone that up you know and uh so that's just been about it but speaking of michigan y'all i miss michigan i miss being home so bad y'all i'm going I, everybody like why in the world do you want to come back here let me tell y'all something if i could take everybody that i love out of michigan or if i can just bring atlanta georgia to michigan it would be the bomb.com y'all it would but i'm here in atlanta and it's like so much to do with so much going on, but it gets kind of lonely when your road dogs is not around you. All your friends and stuff like that. The pastor, me and him, real good friends. We've been knowing each other like for 10 years now. And um, we just goofy together. We always have fun, you know? And then with Keisha and Keishandra, then my, my whole family is in Michigan. We're all out of Michigan. So, I mean, just not, not to be around them all is like, you know, I get up and I and I'll go about my day here, and you know, I'm out and about all the time around Georgia. But mo most of the time, you know, what I'm saying I'm with my kids, and they be in their own world because you know, ten and twelve like two peas in a pot. Um, they stick together, so it's like every time they talking about something, I could walk in the room and be like, "What y'all talking about? Oh, nothing." They think they keep stuff amongst themselves because they at that age, they teenagers. So, you know, so I don't fit in that crowd, which I ain't trying to fit in, but. I just miss getting up seeing my friends. I miss getting up saying, you know, I think I'm gonna go out here today. Oh, let me go see her. I ain't seen her in a minute. You know, it's, y'all, I'm sorry. I, I said this, I, I'll be backtracking on my words and stuff. And I was like, I'll never move back to Michigan. Uh, uh, it's live out here. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm moving back to Michigan. I can't wait to get out of here. I cannot wait to leave Atlanta. I'm sorry, I love Atlanta, it's beautiful. Just the people that I love is in Michigan. Everybody that I love is in Michigan. My heart is in Michigan. I I didn't feel that way until I went back and I was like, 
you know, just around everybody and just getting up out my busy, I'm so busy, you know, just going here and going there. And it was like, I literally found myself sitting crying when it was time to go back, come back to Atlanta. And I had like the night before uh, we had, you know, got on the road. I, I mean, I sat in Keyshawn's dining room and I cried like a baby, y'all. I cried. And I'm like, you're like, girl, why are you crying? All you gotta do is just, you come back, you look like you can't. I was like, I know, but I just got so emotional because I just got so attached and I was just, you know, myself again. And I had got myself back on track in Michigan because before my, I had gained all my weight, um, I, was at, I was in Michigan when I lost a tremendous amount of weight. And um, when I moved down south to Alabama, me and my ex-husband was talking about getting back together. And I put that weight on in Alabama because it wasn't nothing to do. I mean, it was boring in Alabama, you know, with the parts that we were at. And uh, so when I got to Atlanta, it's like I kept that weight on. It was like, oh, I was excited, and you know. But you know, I said the last time when I went back to Michigan, I was like, when I go back to Michigan, I'm gonna go back and find that Reva that I lost there. And I did, I found her again. And I was like, let me get myself back together. I gotta get myself back in shape. I wanna look like this. I wanna look good, Lord willing, for my um, birthday in April. On my birthday, April the 8th, Lord willing, he allowed me to make it, grant his mercy on me to live, then I'll see April the 8th. And I wanna be a healthier, smaller, a smaller me, you know what I'm saying? And then also too, um, I'm, a, I'm a free woman now, I'm single, so I don't wanna be out here and, you know, not being put on the list, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, when a, when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing, okay? So the man find it the wife. The man chooses the wife, okay? I ain't never been a forward type of woman to push myself up on men, you know? Um, so when a man finds the wife, he chooses her. So when he looks at unto that woman, not just for her personality, he's gonna see her outer beauty first. He's gonna look at her outer beauty. And when he see, you know, something that, you know, and appetizing, he ain't coming for it. We're gonna just keep it real. And I'm gonna do a survey on that because most of y'all be like, that's not true. A man gonna love you for you and all this. No, one day y'all gonna see me walk around with the camera and I'm gonna go to these fine, I, I love them dark skinned, honey. I'm gonna go to these fine dark skinned men and I'm gonna just walk up to them with the camera and say, you mind answering the question? How do you feel about heavy women? I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna do a survey on that and we'll see, you know. But the auto appearance, is the first thing that a man looks at, the first thing he's attracted to about you is either your face, your everything about you, your hair, your, your body. You know, men look at this stuff, you know? Uh, I know men look at this stuff because women look at this stuff. Because the first thing a sister do when she don't like you is, well, her fat cell. That's why she fat. A woman to call you all out your body before a man will because they notice that. But you know what? I want to have myself together for me, first off, and my health. And I just want to look good. And I want to know that, you know, when I meet my husband, that he's going to love me for me. You know what I'm saying? And not what I could do for him or, you know. Now, I just want him to look unto me and say, my wife is beautiful. Either way. You know what I'm saying? With, and I'm not going to say with the weight. Because I'm not happy with the weight. So, I don't expect no one to be happy. That's just my thoughts, y'all. Please don't come hard on me for saying that. It's not low self-esteem. I don't like myself like this, so how can I expect someone else to? You know what I'm saying? It's too much weight. Now, come on. I'm not trying to be skinny. Let me get you wrong. Right. I want curves. I don't want to learn a little nice shape. I've always been a thick girl. I ain't never been no bone, you know, but I always had a nice figure. And my grown years, I've just been jacked up. I just been, you know what I'm saying, like, when I had the kids, it was like an excuse, you know. Well, I got three kids, shoot, I'm had, I can't, and I, you can't say that nowadays, because there's been women out there that had five to ten kids and be the bomb shape. So, it ain't got nothing to do with that. But I was supposed to be doing a video on Tina and them, uh, we was going to do a Remember When, but we'll do that on another video, because I just sat here and talked to y'all, and I could talk all night, but... I just want to tell y'all that I want to get myself together for me and I just, I'm going to end up back in Michigan. Yes, I am. I cannot wait. Um, probably before the summer starts, I'll be in Michigan. And, uh, and me and Pastor could be doing some more, you know, videos together and stuff because I know some of y'all asked about 
him in the comments and stuff like that. We've been talking to each other on the phone, like, hey, what's up, what the, how we gonna do it? You don't wanna get on the live and do it? I'm like, no, that ain't gonna seem right. You know, it's like, the, you know, the same, and I don't know, I said that it might go off, go off or something like that. The phone might die or might lose connection. I said, I don't wanna do it like that. So the next time I come back to, to Michigan and me and Pastor was gonna do some uh, videos and topics together and stuff, and I'll try not to get too, uh, and involved in, you know, I'm gonna say this. One of my uh, love bugs, love muffins said, I'm not, um, I don't like that you, it's too, you seem to come across hypocritical um, because you're, you know, talking with the pastor and there's a flirting going on. Let me tell y'all something. This has been my friend for, for 10 years, okay? And uh, if there was flirting going on, he is not married and I'm not either. I mean, just because a person saved don't mean they dead, okay? And I'm not gonna be sitting here across the table with him telling y'all, hey, you know, young people, try to save your, your love, you know, little, little pocket books for marriage and all that type of stuff. Don't be in corners and all that and dark places where you be tempted for fornication. And I don't be sitting up here doing it myself with the pastor. Come on now, I, I'm, not, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna be uh, up in some corner or whatever and me and pastor do. But if you courting some, somebody is courting or whatever, I mean, how can two Christian people date, single Christian people date, or say not we're not on a date, but say if we were, and how is that hypocritical? That's not hypocritical. It's only wrong and hypocritical if we both sit here, one is married and one ain't. You know, and both parties are not married. They are not married. So we just friends and we discussing stuff and it may get a little, you know, cute here and there or whatever. <laughs> it's just, it's just all of it. That's how, that's how our relationship is. But it's not to get all filthy and under the pants and talk filthy and nasty. No, that's not what that is. So I don't want y'all to get the wrong impression of that. But since some of y'all did, I'll watch that. I'll watch that. I won't, you know, because some people can't take that. Some people, you know, some people, uh, I don't want to, I mean, some people live like nuns. Like, don't don't say nothing. Don't smile at a man. Don't do this. No, you say, pour that skirt down to the floor. Don't don't look. Don't How, how could a man, how can y'all ever get to know each other if y'all don't uh, court? Y'all don't uh, meet each other. He don't tell you what he like about you. You don't tell him what you like about him. How could y'all ever know? I mean, you just don't get, you just don't two safe single couples get together and be like, the Lord said that I marry you right now. Okay, in the name of Jesus, I receive it. It don't go like that. You know what I'm saying? We people, we human. And so we, we carry ourselves accordingly in Christ but at the same time, we know how to conduct ourselves, and we know that that marriage bed uh, is undefiled, okay? And if we're not married, we ought not be in that bed. Simple as that. So I'm gonna watch those, make sure that they don't be where they're offensive to you all and to the younger viewers. So uh, we can get our, our point across about things and different things that go on in the church or different things that Christians do encounter as young people and um, single people, how we really catch it and stuff. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. I'll do another video. Continue to took all day. I'm going to do a video with my two kids um, about remember when. We, we got some funny stuff for y'all, y'all. So, but I just want to tell y'all Merry Christmas. It's, uh, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Um, well, I'll see y'all before then. Um, but I just want to say have a blessed Merry Christmas. And in Jesus' name, peace out. Be blessed.